Hello everyone, I'm Daniel Ramos from Chile, from Universidad de Concepción. And along with my colleagues, I would like to present the results of our study, Future Subjective Theories of Time Management in the Chilean Conference. So, first of all, like if that, let me give you some context, some introduction. Well, first I'd like to say about something that is very present, present in the literature. That is the, the teacher's complaint about the lack of time. And that seems to appear in many countries of the world especially in Latin America and Chile, but not only in Chile, but in other countries too. That situation requires further understanding because, first of all, proper time management has been related to educational quality because the teacher's management of time has a significant impact in the student's performance. And because the lack of non-teaching time leads to absenteeism, a high turnover rate, and it also affects the occupational, the teacher's occupational health. Well, about time perspective, as we know, as conceptualized by Zimbardo and Boyd, it's a process generally not conscious for which the continuous flows of personal and social experience are assigned to time frames that help us to give order, coherence, and meaning to those events. It is also a cognitive and motivational construct that varies from individual to individual, and also could be divided in positive past, negative past, hedonistic pre present, fatalistic present, and future. About time management, well, the studies on time management started to gain force in the 1980s and about the time management, the studies of time management in the educational context. Well, the, the studies, at least in the Latin American context, um, are more focused on, on students than in teachers, right? And there are a few studies that investigate time management from the teacher's perspective. And that is a problem because one of the most serious problems of educational organizations is the mismanager, mismanagement of school time, what leads, which leads to negative impacts on workers and students' academic performance. And also in studies with teachers, time management has been linked to work stress. That is the ability to manage time in, in an effective way has been shown as a form to cope with stress. Well, subjective theories are cognitions about phenomena of our world which have a hypothetical or argumentative structure, at least partially or explicit, explicit or implicit, in which guides our, our behavior. The ST analysis seeks to the individual speech to understand and, and to understand their, their subjective experience. And the educational field, the first studies review that the complexity of teachers ST is related to the efficiency of decision making. That is, the more complex and organized the ST, the more efficient the decision making is. On the other hand, the literature shows that among teachers, there is a predominance of low complexity as these. Well, um, let me tell you about our method. First of all, I would like to, to 
tell you that the, this research aimed to understand and contrast the subjective theories of time management of teachers of basic and secondary education in three regions of two. For that, we interviewed 48 teachers, 16 per region, and we selected a priori considering two categories, use of experience and educational stage. Use of experience considered teachers with more than 15 years of experience and less than 15 years in educational stage, basic or secondary education teachers. About the analysis we performed. We performed the quali qualitative analysis <coughs> with grounded theory and subjective theories analysis. So to explain a little bit more uh, um, our analysis, the analysis we did, we interview uh, the teachers. And when the interviews were just transcripted, we then identified the STs of time management and then performed two types of analysis using the, the Atlas, Atlas TI. The analysis of ST structure and themes and time perspective analysis. Well, about the results. First of all, the result with the results of the subjective theories. Structure. We found that the teacher's subjective theories were found to be simple in their structure, which is in line with previous studies, as I told you before. About themes, we found the teachers tended to attribute the, the time management skills of, or lack of skills to external factors such as little work experience, lack of training, lots of training, lack of time or lack of control of the time. And about the, the action orientation, which also is a part of, of the PSD, the ones we found in the study rather maintain or inhibit time management actions, and in a few cases, they reach a critical reflection on the subject. Well, about time perspective analysis, first comparing basic and secondary education teachers, we found that for those of basic education, there is a predominance of orientation towards the future in the positive path, which is great. Great if we, we, we think that that could be related to, to, to psychological health and so on. But for the secondary education teachers, there is a predominance of fatalistic present TP which is exactly the related with low psychological health. About the years of experience, the teachers with more than 15 years of experience present a predominance of the fatalistic present, present on the speeches. And the teachers with less than 15 years of experience were more future oriented, which may be related to the professional stage of their lives, like in the first years of working life. The professionals think about the future and plan the professional development. And so that's uh, our preliminary results. This is these are the references we use on this presentation. And thank you very much for your time and your attention.